Hello there, my name is here. Welcome back to World of the Fuck of Vanilla Plus on the Tower server. How often did I already start an episode with this mob? Don't know. But today it's going to be maybe the last time because 45 I'll probably move somewhere else. Maybe that or just do some quests. Probably move somewhere else first. But yeah, 37 kills. It's doable for, doable for today. Um. Yeah. Let's talk about the raid group again. The loot. Uh, I'm still not, not... Oh. Nice, I got a disconnect. I think that's just the server rest uh, the, the, um, the... router restart. Okay. I didn't get a full disconnect. It's just a server a uh, router restart, probably. Okay, that that would be too fast for a router restart, to be honest. But it was probably something else. But whatever. I'm only fighting one mob, at, mob one mob at a time. If I don't run into a ram up, which I know is here, uh, spawnable here, I'm going to kill everything if it, if I right clicked it first, right? So. Let's talk about the raid again, raid group again, loot. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure I want to do this. I only know that loot council is uh, not really an option. Uh, the option is DKP stuff, but I feel maybe this doable one. I don't want to have that much to track, so the other option would be like a prioritization system. But even they are with the roll bonus, like I did in Burning Crusade uh, Bliss Classic. I would need to, someone to track that. I'm not doing that myself again. That's just a. Because, yeah, if I need to do it myself again, it's a little bit too much. If you, I have someone else doing that, he could do that at the beginning of a raid already, more or less, or maybe after. Something like that, right? You could do it pretty, pretty shortly after the raid. What I'm talking about is having, I, I would have a list, like an Excel, Google Doc, uh, with the uh, names of the raid members, and then you put, just put an X in in the uh, list of uh, if you're there or not. I don't know how, how you call this again. Attendance, that's it. And uh, it counts you as there or not, and then you get the uh, bonus roll if you didn't get the. One, one of your prioritization items and then you don't ro roll 1 to 100, you roll 5 to 100. Next time you roll 10 to 100. Increasing your chances in a 5 for a 1 with 1 every single raid. A decent amount, I think it was. I calculated it once, but yeah, then I don't know it anymore. Increasing your chances, definitely. I feel like this uh, this bonus roll thingy on prioritization items is probably good. And then obviously the option to do 
uh, instead of one, two, three prioritizations, you, you do one, four, four, and that's it. But the obvious reason, um, situation is you only can do one prioritization if you really don't need any of the other items. So if you do that, no other loot. The problem is, now that I think about it, there are prob probably people that would do that. Put that one best thing on item on that prioritization list in while they need uh, like a few more of the other items. Just so they are, um, have the same chance on the best item as someone else who already get out, got really got everything else. Um, and that's probably obviously a no go, I'd say. That in that regard, uh, DKP is better because the yeah, DKP you just obviously okay, not not really in DKP. The, the one who saves and only buys one item is probably better off than the one who buys five and actually do, does more damage in that or more, more has more impact on the group in that regard. So that's bad too. So I'll probably just go back and screw this over with... Uh, sc screw us all with loot console. Uh, I don't want to do this. Yeah, we just we just make sh need to make sure we only have people that are in in the raid group that are, that know that it's better to get an upgrade instead of getting the best item. Or maybe let's call it like get an upgrade more often than getting the best item once per year, without anything else. Because yeah, you. <laughs> now that I think about that, maybe we could do something else for like those funny, interesting items. Like actually doing DKP, but switching up those definitely very important items. Nah. Oh, this good thing again. I'm not sure about DKP, but yeah, DKP would need will will need some sort of DK feature. But then it's still. I think I, I still stick to the prioritization prior prior list where I think I call it roll DKP. Uh, the with the roll bonus. It, still prefer that if, if you if you switch um like for example i would start using that stuff doing during world core because that's the first actually how about to go no not really because everyone needs the um eye roll and that's it more or less and there are here and there updates so we i would start using this feature did this loot system in Monko. Then the question error is if you switch to Oni that's probably the same raid day so no and, and it's pretty pretty close by same raid here in that regard I'd say nope. So once we're done with those two on Oni and Monko uh, and we would like to start with Ball Blackwing Lair, which is the second red tier, right? I'd probably just half the current value that you have. I think in Burning Crusade I did it like um, half it, but added another another red day that got counted. So instead of one red day, it was two then. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. We did uh, two direct days, anyways. So I'm not sure how it, how I did that immediately. I just halved it, right? Or maybe it was 
10, 10, yeah, I think it was 10 value steps at the beginning and then I put it down to five. Yeah. But then from um, Black Temple to Sunwell, how did I do that? I think I halved it again. I just like that, right? But yeah, that's that's still pretty much solid. The idea to half the value then that you have, you you'll probably be probably still the distance. Okay, the issue with this is the distance to your to your to the other people in the raid is still the same. Nah, I'm not sure about that. Ah. Yeah. But I still prefer that prioritization stuff. The only issue is with that is obviously like, uh, gearing your group, uh, efficiently like uh, for example uh, getting the tanks some of the big upgrades first that that makes you tanky it's difficult i want to do this maybe we could, you could you could just um make it like okay the tanks get it that stuff first but they will get sub subtracted like in extra id of b without getting any as a basically if you miss you don't get an item in this id you get a bonus right so we just say okay he, he doesn't get an extra um bonus or he just gets an one collected bonus sub subtracted and then get the, the set piece of whatever first to help with the tankiness because yeah that that's that's a lot of that's a crazy upgrade, some of those set pieces and stuff. For Warrior, it's crazy. Strong. Paladin, sadly, there's not yet uh, tank gear set pieces. Tier 2 is the b closest, I think. Or two, tier 2.5. Two no, oh, that was healer already, only. So, yeah. Someone wants to sell that. Interesting. Wants to buy 30 Malachites and 20 Light Leather. Seems like a... Oh, he's, he wants to craft uh, some... Some blacksmithing pieces, he's a warrior and needs that. You can fish that. I think if I every time I needed to fish, uh, craft something with a light leather at the beginning, I just fished that. In this, in the trash pieces, you can fish that stuff. Yeah. I feel like I'll, I'll, would like, I really would like to do that then. But you, on, on top of that, I'll probably need to have some, some general idea with the, some help with people from people that give me input in terms of uh, how. I mean, technically, I'm. I'm. Uh, let's say I basically ca would catch that if some someone is healing on a, on an item weirdly, but uh, because it's it can happen. Yeah, like. No, I don't see. I don't see any good example. The only example that I know is like uh, the idols in Zulgrub. Currently, there are some that are better off. Some of the classes are better off. For example, Mage and Hunter is best because they get Mage gets 
spell power and hit. Spell hit. Hunter gets ranged, attack power and hit. Um, some classes are work better, a little bit less put off, like uh, Paladin, for example, they get. Let's see. Here, here, here. Paladin gets stamina, defense value, and heal power. So that's that's. It's not that strong, to be honest. Yeah, I think in that regard, two percent dodge is better, right? But defense value is not not bad too. Fourteen defense value. I would actually add up to to a decent upgrade. But having 4% more dodge would be an option too, right? 14 de defense value should be... what's that? No, what, is that even a percent of dodge? Uh, if, if, the, if yes, then it's dodge, parry, block, then it would probably be better to go for that, because block is much more valuable. Yeah, something like that, right? Shaman is intellect healing and spell damage, so yeah, not bad. Hunters hit and hit stamina and range attack power. Mage is just at the uh, spell damage and hit. Warlock is stamina and damage. It's that's pretty good too. Priest is a mana of all five seconds, stamina and heal power. So it's definitely not for not not the thing that will, I would give a, a shadow priest. I mean, okay, that's stamina and mana. Okay, that that's that's useful for shadow priest. But on the other hand, yeah, why not just get the nine, uh, get the twelve um, spell power enchantment from uh, Chandrala, the here, yeah, Diamond. Just get those, it's better. The, the regeneration and life points is not that strong in comparison to uh, the just pure, pure spell power. Rock is decent attack power and dodge. Don't see, yeah, the other option is just 8 stamina, uh, 8 strength or something, that's not better. Or 8 agility. So, yeah. For Rogue, this is probably the best too. Um, Paladin, yes. Warrior, yes, definitely. Shield block value, defense value, stamina. It's the only priest. Is heal only. Mage is obviously true, 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 true. Druid, yeah, Druid is uh, healing, intellect, and stamina. So it's. Yeah, for Druid, you get the. Um, Karasan, lower Karasan enchantment that you get behind there on the chapel. That's two percent dodge on head on, on head piece on leg piece. That's four percent dodge total. That's pretty valuable. And there is the level up. So yeah, I wanted to go and get some more offhand weapon damage increased. So how many kills would this be? Forty twos. Tell me. I mean, I'll just go and kill a few more, right? Okay, why didn't that work? Five hundred fifty-three of those. I mean, <laughs> do I really want to? Uh, let's kill a 41 too. My guess is uh, this is the 600 and of those. What, 580? Mm, let's do that, let's say 580. Okay, it's actually, actually 610. Let's try a little 40. They should be around here too, right? Come on, level 40, where are you? There. So that's that's seven hundred then. Six hundred eighty. Six hundred eighty. 
Ah, uh, maybe actually 700 should be better. Closer, right? It's 700. 680. Oh my god, I was on. Okay, uh, that's a lot. So 500, uh, what's that? 550 on the 42s to 710 of the on, uh, 680 on those. Uh, bit in between is yeah, 600 something mobs. Uh, that's a little bit much. I think I'll go further west where the enemies are a little bit higher then. Yeah, probably. Something like that. Well then, uh, now you basically know what I'm thinking about about those raids, right? It's not that easy, but I'll probably really just do this um, roll bonus stuff. Oh, that's Dwarf Hunter. What are you doing? What are you doing? And there, there I go. And she did. Did I trick her into running into the guards? Maybe. Do I feel sorry about that? Nope. Not even close. There are like two ways to go around. You can go north or south where actually a path, a path is visible. So yeah. That's uh, the grace. That was two gold, seventy-nine gold grace. Uh, let's knapsack. Don't need that. We get things. Let's get that away. Okay, and let's get rid of this. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.